Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. First up this morning as we head into the holiday season, hopefully you have time to celebrate with your loved ones and your friends. And with celebrating comes parties and gatherings. <laughs> Here with some festive fall themed DIY hostess gift ideas is Rebecca Grant from New Creations Weddings. Welcome back. Thank you. Having Thanks for good having me season. again. So far so good, yes. Well, we invited you back because you always have beautiful ideas, Thank but you. you are also budget friendly right. because what, you know, no one wants to run around paying 50 or $60 for something. Thing, but you don't right. want to show up at anybody's store empty handed, empty -handed right. or at least yes. according to my mother that's yes. not well, something that's still you a good do. rule of thumb you don't <laughs> want to show up to your host or hostess that's having you and be like have hey something. feed me <laughs> but have nothing else have in hand, something so. so you brought some great ideas today and some things that people will actually want to use Correct. which is important too Correct. i mean it's nice to show up yeah. with the votives or the whatever but you yeah. know it's also kind of nice to do something that they can Right, and these are all DIY, so this all should be items that you either have around the house mm -hmm. or should be a very, very easy budget, like five to ten dollars max um, of something that you can bring to your That's host awesome. or hostess. And so it, it's very the easy. thought, right. and these are useful. Exactly. So take me through what you brought. All right, so we have a two-parter over here. So this is just a <laughs> standard wine box, or, which makes a really great package. So mm -hmm. again, use what you have. Use a basket, use a box, whatever. Throw in some fall gourds, line it with some leaves, and then throw in a bottle of wine. So this might be the oh. option that will get you up over that ten dollars, depending on how good yeah. of a wine that you but get. you know what? Sometimes but, you have some at right. home. People brought exactly. it to your house. You haven't had it and to just drink, and you can yes. regift it. Yes. There's some, nothing wrong with that. So what we did what a good idea. was we dressed this bottle up a little bit mm -hmm. here. So I actually just went to Goodwill, snagged a three dollar sweater, and what you can do, you can see that this guy's already missing an arm because yeah. <laughs> I already <laughs> used it for the. Sit here. But what you can do is go ahead and cut Shall that I finish sleeve. This? Yeah, just go ahead straight across. Straight across. Yeah, okay, perfect. Let me see. Now this one was a great one because it's metallic. But exactly. I'm thinking right. you have sweaters in your closet that you're not going to wear anymore. Right. And generally, if you've got a pull or a snag, it's yes. on the body of the sweater. Yes. I bet your sleeves are just fine. Exactly. Um, just to give us an idea, if we do this at home, how long do we want this to be? So that's actually that perfect. was not the world's best. No, cut, no, no. But, but look, here you go. look what we're going to do. So we're going to use the base, the cuff part, as the the bottom, the bottom of the okay. wine cozy right here and then see what I did because this is not a finished edge either oh, is I just, just rolled, rolled it, it over and made a little cuff so that's all you got to do and then you have a perfect little wine cozy and you're just going to stick that right in your favorite box and you and can there put you go. A, tuck in a little card if exactly. you want or anything yeah. I like that yeah. idea a lot yeah. and you could also just get the Regular boxes at Michael's yes. or some places are like five bucks. Right, exactly. Not it's not an expensive gift, but a lot Perfect. of it's beautiful presentation. And if it's so. Christmas, just throw in all that Change extra it garlic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have it home and you're like, what am I doing? Right, with this? right. Okay, here's something beautiful. Yeah, so this is a do it yourself uh, mullein wine spice uh, kit that we're going to make. And so you're going to pick up some food safe gauze right here. You're going to get a cute little decorative string. And which all you, you have to have do, which you have at home, because just raid your wrapping paper box. Right. And then you're going to throw in a couple sticks of, uh, of uh, cinnamon, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of star anise. You can throw in some nutmeg, uh, whatever you want to throw in there. Some dried orange slices mm -hmm. would be great. And you're just going to cinch it up. Do you cinch it you up? Cinch, and, yep. And you'll and then I'll tie. All right. Yeah. And can you use cheesecloth if you you've can. got that at home? Because exactly. I always have that. I don't know if I have food right. safe gauze. Right. And so there you go. There Somebody's you go. just going to drop this right. in wine, warm it up. Do you yep. put instructions with it, or no, how would you? Most people know what mullein spices do, but if your host or hostess doesn't know, you can just let them know to put it in some some spiced cider or some wine or right. whatever, and be able to warm that up and really have those fragrances. Now going. you have a mug here, mm -hmm. so that's not a bad addition, right? right? right. A couple of you know a mug. Exactly. Two, four, whatever you right. want, and pop these in there, and yep. you're good to go. Good to go. I love it. Yeah. What's happening All here? All right. So every something's host going or on with this pumpkin. <laughs> every host or hostess needs a centerpiece for their table. So if they've forgotten to pick one up at the grocery store, you can provide one for Oops. them. Hold on. We've and got so our what we bottles. did here was kind of again a two-part gift. So right down here at the bottom. Uh, we've included some liqueurs, because who doesn't need some liqueur uh, sure. during the holiday season <laughs> to get <Just> you through? <laughs> so they can just cut that you, right off and me. put that into their kitchen. Um, but what you're going to do is just grab a small little gourd right here, mm -hmm. throw on some floral foam. So you're just going to cut have. that. Exactly. You're going to cut that, squish it on to the top of the stem oh. of the gourd. That's it. That's all that's holding it. And then you're going to take some you know, appropriate mm -hmm. uh, seasonal foliage, and you're just going to stick it into the floral foam. So it's if you want to start this that. part, okay. and you're going to cut them really, really short. So remember that there's a stem inside, so you can't cut the stems too long, otherwise you will run into the stem. 
but you want it to be short enough that it's nice down low and really I covers that um, covers that floral foam. So there you go. Sideways. Right. Whoops, I hope I'm not smooshing no, the no, ones no, in you're front. Good. Floral. But that's easy. <laughs> Super Look easy. That. And then you have a beautiful fall centerpiece. Right. Great hostess gift. Like what hostess wouldn't love to have this when they open the door and be like, hi, happy fall, here you go. You know, and if they have a centerpiece already, they'll pop this someplace right. else. Right. That'll be fun for decoration. Do you need yeah. to get the... Um, the what foam. does this thing cost? Uh -huh. The foam, do you need to get that wet or you anything? You would. So once you're done completely putting in all of your flower heads, then you would just go ahead and put a little bit of water oh, drops water. on there, and then it'll hold. So as long as uh, the, the host or hostess just pop, tops it off a little bit, you're good to go. And that foam absorbs the water, so you don't need to worry about it dripping down the side of the pumpkin. That looks awesome. Yeah. Okay, I see a little peppermint you, yes. crunch of Theo's, which is so the best, good. best, right? <laughs> so, I mean... Yeah, well, delicious. Theo's coconut is my favorite, but I love this is great yeah. too. So you're just gonna grab a candy bar and an appropriate flavor for whatever you're making for your room diffuser, and you're gonna make a DIY room diffuser. So I just grabbed a little candy cane to show mm -hmm. what scent the diffuser was. Um, luckily, grocery stores just came out with <laughs> with candy canes, yes. <laughs> so they have those. And then we're taking an essential oil, and we're just gonna drop that into the diffuser. So this is just a little bud base. I had at home. You can also pick it up at a thrift store. Throw in a couple drops Even of the peppermint essential one, oil. Like four bucks. It's not it's expensive. No big deal. So pair that with a candy cane, great candy bar. Throw it in. You have a room diffuser, and then I love the event that. smells delicious. That's beautiful, and everybody yeah. likes peppermint, exactly. so that's not a, a right. wild guess. Right. Um, and then I see you have some stamps and whatnot. Right. What are we doing yeah. here? Yeah. So we're gonna take um, tea towels, just basic dollar oh, store look. tea towels, and we're gonna actually stamp those in whatever's appropriate for again your host or hostess. So yeah, great idea. Um, if you might remember the last time I was here, I have uh, my own beehives, and so I did a mm -hmm. couple that were stamped with bees, and then I just paired that with a honey. little jar of honey. <laughs> I don't have my own bees, but I could still use right. this idea. Right. right? Exactly. So People if you're into, um, you know, if you're into to flowers or if you're into wanting something that is a little bit more seasonal and doing mm -hmm. a pumpkin stamp or something like that you're just going to take whatever's appropriate for that particular person and you take your stamp pad and whatever colors you want this and is you such can a good idea because different people have different things that they right. love or their hobbies or whatever mm -hmm. am i just stamping down yeah, here just make sure you get the entire stamp covered all right let's and see if i can do you that you do want to be sure um, these stamp pads are water-based so you do want to be sure that you are getting uh, paints that are oil-based so that way when you wash the tea towel or of course as you wash your hands and wipe them on the tea towel you don't have a bleed of color okay. so just make sure that when you're um, for for ease of stamping today i just grabbed the water-based one, but you will want to grab uh, oil-based paint and be able to paint the Good idea. Stamp. How long do they need to dry? <laughs> Since I'm always late getting right. my hostess they don't. Together. They'll dry in the car. You oh, don't even will. need to worry about okay, it. Okay, good. Yeah. You so got cool. it. I yeah. think I got mine sort of upside down. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. We'll <laughs> yep. do one the other way exactly. and everything's going to be great. Yeah. So um, where do we find stamps at the best price and inks at the best price? So this is from my local Ben Franklin. Um, the tea towels were from the dollar store, so that is mm -hmm. a dollar purchase, three dollars right there with three tea towels and then I happen to have stamp pads at home so if you don't already have those you will want to visit your local craft store whether that be a Michaels or a Joanne and those um, and they're don't cost pretty inexpensive they're about five dollars. I'm thinking so. the tea towel, the honey and maybe a little cocktail exactly. recipe that includes honey. Yeah and perfect. Listen, You've made your own hostess yeah, gift. I'm going to just make that and give it to me. Right. <laughs> Thank you Margaret. <laughs> How yes. did you know? Thank you.